Coffee shops are a great place for friends to hang out, even get some work from the office done. It's also an industry worth tens of billions of dollars, and a company in Texas is trying to capitalize on that with the coffee house of the future. Lee Woodruff got a taste. For students at the University of Texas in Austin, this is the hot new coffee shop. What has your feedback been overall? Customer feedback or people that try it for the first time? Well, they're surprised. They're surprised that such a high quality cup of coffee came out of a machine. On a campus that spans 1,500 acres, the coffee house takes up just 50 square feet. It's an automated kiosk from the startup Brigo. Kevin Nader is the company's president and CEO. We are a coffee company. We're not a machine company. So we're uh, absolutely dedicated as a company to create great coffee for customers. We're actually just giving it to you in the ultimate coffee experience relative to the way coffee's been done up to this point. This prototype allows customers to customize their lattes, espressos, Americanos, and cappuccinos. Experts source and roast their signature beans, and the kiosk is stocked with fresh dairy gourmet syrups and sweeteners. A robot makes what the company says is the perfect cup. So really the only thing missing is the person, is the barista. That's right. The one thing missing in this system is the barista. The one thing that is here is consistency around automation. Brigo is hoping to take a bite out of an $80 billion worldwide coffee industry that includes heavyweights like Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, the coffee bean, and Pete's. Recently, the largest growth has come from machine-made single-serve pods. For example, in just five years, sales of Green Mountain's K-Cups have exploded from $50 million to $5 billion. Nestle's Nespresso brings in $3.5 billion. So is this the future? Potentially, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Some people still like talking to someone and having their coffee made by a person. What do you find attractive about being in a coffee shop? Community. Um, but also kind of the background noise, the, the grind, the steaming milk. Peter Crippen owns Rex, just across 10th Avenue from the CBS Broadcast Center. Crippen's baristas are trained professionals. At Rex, a market price pour over coffee or a latte is considered a work of art. Is it a better cup of coffee when a barista with human hands touches it? Yes. The barista is constantly changing how they're making the coffee because temperature changes, that affects your grind. So they're constantly changing what they're doing to make it perfect. Back at Brigo, it's even more scientific. Computers analyze moisture and temperature. They also allow you to order your cup right from your phone. So we'll go sugar-free vanilla latte, use a 2% latte with two pumps of vanilla, and I can go ahead and check out. Oh, you like a hot milkshake. Perfect. You might have just converted me. Students love ordering coffee from their seat in class, using their travel time as their wait time, and getting a text when it's ready. And they can just come right by and pick it up. So what would you say to the people who say, I'm never going to trade this in for my coffee house? We're not asking people to stop going to coffee shops. Customers want access to barista quality coffee, but 24 hours a day, because this thing can operate 24 hours a day. Like an airport. Rigo plans to open a second kiosk at Austin Bergstrom International and is looking to brew up business in more cities soon. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Lee Woodruff, Austin. Oh, ah, it. my coffee will be right coffee out. Be right. <laughs> it is a smart idea. I get scared when I hear all these stories of machines replacing I people. Though. I like my barista. She smiles at me. <laughs> <laughs> machine's not going to do that for no. you.